clock and the swara patterns the lunar currents manifested in the vibrations of breathing through the left nostril are referred as chandra swara and the solar currents manifested in the vibrations of breathing through the right nostril are termed as surya swara in simple terms when we breathe only through the left nostril the chandra swara is on when we breathe only through the right nostril the surya swara is active if we pay little attention to our breathing patterns we will notice most of the time we breathe only through one nostril either through the left or through the right it is only at the time of changing of this flow from ida to pingala that is left to right or vice versa that both the swaras are active for few moments these change occurs periodically in about 1 to 3 hours of time on an average the flow of vital energy and the prana is active through the sushumna nadi at these moments these transition takes place at characteristic timings that is exactly at the moments of sunset which are of very significant importance in yoga and spiritual practices the moments of the sun and the moon and their mutual interaction with the earth via planetary forces of attraction cosmic radiation electromagnetic waves continue without pause as for the universal laws of nature so do the continuous swaras through ida pingala sushumna throughout the life cycle it is known to some extent to the researchers of the related areas of physics physiology psychology that the sunrise and sunset times and also the positions of sun moon and the other planets affect the geomagnetism and the biomagnetism and hence the biological clock and the various mind body functions the gigantic variations in the tides of a sea with the lunar calendar are also well known to most of us however little or no knowledge do we have about the relationship of these with the swara patterns udayistunna suryanya dhyanam healthy state of body and mind our swaras universally manifest the following patterns around the time of sunrise during the lunar month here chandra swara implies that one would breathe to the left nostril and surya swara right nostril it is amazing that this description cited in the ancient scriptures of the vedic age is found perfect in the present times as well so much so that it could be used as a measure of our health if someone's breathing pattern in the morning within few minutes after sunrise doesn't match with what is shown in this chart it would be indicative of some disturbance in the normal healthy state of his or her body or mind if this is random and continues for several days in succession then there must be some ailment or disorder that could be significant if it is not yet manifested the person should have a precautionary medical checkup and should also take care of the stress or mental tension if any we all can verify this thing sushumna our own breathing pattern ida pingala ee rendu kalisi sushumna nadi ni srushtisthayi ee sushumna nadi lo kuda ati sanni mudu sushma dharana pravistu unnai vitini vajra chitrani brahma nadi ani perla to pilustaru it should be noted that the calendar based on solar won't give the right information We all know that the rays of moon are cool and soothing whereas those of the sun are hot and energizing as obvious by their names the chandra swara corresponds to a calm stable and happy state of mind which is most suited for thorough and discreet thinking balanced discussions and adept decision making the surya swara 
occurs in the relatively excited, active, dynamic state of mind. This is best for interpreted, courageous efforts and tasks requiring enthusiasm, force, aggressiveness and alacrity. Noting that proper initiation accounts for proper completion of the work at hand, wise people make sure that their body and mind are in an appropriate state to begin a job. Suppose a student is compelled to study a difficult lesson having a good sleep in the night. Devotional practices, meditation, contemplation require peaceful, static state of mind. That is why one prefers the loneliness and silence for these purposes. On the contrary, noisy shouts of slogans of victory, high-pitched sounds of drums and specific tunes of march past, aggressive and boosted state of mind is essential for a warrior who is departing to the battlefield. Listeners can experiment on yourself to see that whenever you are in a good and calm mood and having positive thoughts, you must be breathing through the left nostril. Your excitement or abstract, untoward thinking would on the contrary be accompanied by respiration through the right nostril alone. The yogis of Swaravijnana therefore advise that one should check the pattern of his or her swara before commencing on important tasks. Decision making, planning for something that has long term effects, far sighted thinking, meticulous study of a subject, any kind of scholarly or creative action should begin when the Chandra swara is active. Important decision making, fixing of a marriage, rituals, investment, charity, drawing on architecture of a building, planning a starting journey, prescribing a medicine, selecting a career, doing a research experiment, studying, practicing, spiritual exercises of yoga, mantra japa, meditation, yajna should begin when the Chandra Swara is active. A creative, calm and thoughtful state of the mind associated with supportive endocrine activity implies upward flow of prana from the corresponding extrasensory chakras. Harmonious breathing through the left nostril in this case also indicates that the brain and the molecular cellular components and the organs of the body are receiving adequate amounts of subtle currents of vital energy. That is why the Chandraswara is referred as auspicious for the above kinds of constructive, beneficial, far-sighted and intellectual actions.